you're joining me in my garden today. It's the fall season, so the garden is pretty much used up, but I wanted to show you my Sorrento peppers. Let's take a look. Here you can see uh, the peppers when they're green. You could eat them green, they're hot, uh, but uh, here's one that is starting to change. You'll see it moving from uh, uh, green to a little orange and then red. I like to pick them when they're fully red. I use the Sorrento pepper uh, once they get red to make my fermented chili salsa. The wonderful thing about this chili salsa uh, is that uh, there's no pesticides. Peppers have a lot of pesticides. So I get pure chili salsa that I can use uh, in a variety of uh, recipes in addition to using the salsa in my sauerkraut. It makes a great sauerkraut. You're gonna love this. What a great fall day to come in from the garden and find that you have a, a cup of peppers left. Everything else is gone. But I've got a cup of peppers and I'm gonna make some salsa so I can use it to spice up other people's lives. So I'm gonna take a cup of peppers, one cup of water, one teaspoon of sea salt is all I need. And we're going to blend this I like to get my peppers blended up good, so you're going to hear a little noise here. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to put it in a jar and watch the transformation. Put a lid on it, not too tight, let it breathe, and it'll ferment on the counter for the next four or five days, and then put it in the refrigerator. And you've got an excellent pure salsa. No pesticides, right out of the garden. Now, when I think of spicing up people's lives, I think of putting in sauerkraut, I put it in salsa uh, that I make when people like chips and salsa. There's a lot that you can do with it. Spice up the lives of your friends and the food that you eat.